Hey y'all. It's Nicola Travis from Leisure and Leishas and today we are doing a Ask Us Anything video. So we have a, <laughs> a long list of questions. <laughs> some are for both of us, some are for Travis and some are for me. So let's dive in. Dive in. I dove in. Split, split. <laughs> It is swan dive. Alright, question one. How did we meet? You wanna answer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't sound grew. so thrilled. Huh? Don't sound so thrilled. Well, we actually grew up as neighbors. Next door neighbors. Next door neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what? Then what? <laughs> How do we end up? Oh, going from there? Yeah. Well, I mean, we were just neighbors and one day just, just one day. I just bored. <laughs> and I wanted to know if I wanted to go to a football game, which I never went to football games when I was in high school anyway. Yeah, so, so he's four years older than me, so when I was a freshman, he would have been a freshman in college. Yeah, so I'm old. Um, and it was my senior year, so... What did you think when I came over and asked you, do you want to go to a football game? I don't know. What did I say? I'll have to get back to you. <laughs> yeah, he said, I'll get back to you. He said, just check in with me closer to time and I'll let you know or something like that. So. Yeah, I had to think things out, you know. What were you doing when I came over and asked? Washing my car or my Jeep. Yeah. So that summer, because we went on our first date and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but... So that summer, my mom and Travis's sister, I remember we were like sitting on my porch a lot and we had this other mutual friend and they kept being like, oh, Travis needs a girlfriend. Travis needs somebody to do something with. Travis is lonely, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, hmm. Because all I was interested in playing <laughs> sports, that's all I did. I was like, shoot, I might as well move in on that before anybody else does, let's see. So I just was like, whatever. If he says no, he says no. It wouldn't be the first time somebody had said no to me. So, certainly wouldn't be the last. So, if it had um, been the other way around, if he said no, that would have been done for life. Well, I mean, I still get the answer no. Not like I'm still asking people out. I'm just saying, like, in general, like, no's not a bad thing. But, so I was like, you know what? What do I have to lose? So, I, yeah, saw him out there washing his Jeep and just went over there. And I think he had on basketball shorts, probably. Oh, yeah, probably my Do Michigan you have, yeah, his Michigan shorts. Um, so I went over there and I was like, hey, you want to go to the football game on Friday? And that was that. Yeah, we're going out. So I guess that can go to the next question. So what was our first date? I thought that was our first date, the football game. I know, so talk oh, about got, it. We went to the football game. Probably my only football game we went to. No, we went to more we? after that, yeah. So we went to a football game Um I never watched a lot of sports that I didn't play. We so. went to the same high school because we yeah. were next door neighbors, but I'm um, not at the same time. So we went to a football game. Um, did anybody go with us that night, or was it just us? Did Stephen Actually, or Brittany Stephen go? Went, I, think. I don't okay. know. So <laughs> our first day wasn't even really like uh, just the two of us, but um, then we did go to like the mountains and stuff a lot. So our first like date out of town, was we went. The mountains. Yeah, we went to. Um, the Blue Ridge Parkway, this one pull off, which um, we'll talk about in a little bit, but um, Wilson Creek pull off, we had Subway. I picked that up and then we rode. And oh, <laughs> this is my funny, the, my favorite part about that. So as we're driving, and this was like my first time going somewhere really with him, like out, you know, out of the town. Um, so it's about an hour or so from us, hour and a half. and. On the way up, we're driving up the main highway to go up to Boone. And <laughs> there's somebody pulled off on the side of the road. Do you remember this? And they were bent over. And he goes, <laughs> and I busted out laughing. And I think from then I knew um, he was going to be a funny guy. And I probably had to keep him around for a while. <laughs> so, so funny. Yeah. Oh. You don't think you're funny? I don't know. First impression of each other. takes me a while to form things. I'm not like a, I, I just don't function that way. Well, this is also kind of hard because we've known each other 
my entire life because we grew up next door neighbors. Travis moved in when he was three. I'm four years younger than him, so I've known Travis and his family my entire life. Um, so, I mean, my first impression really of Travis is him as a little teenager, because I was friends with his sister growing up, and him always stealing his sister's mongoose bike, riding around the neighborhood with his Michigan shorts on, some kind of basketball jersey, and one of those kangaroo hats on backwards, because he thought he was Michael Jordan. <laughs> Um, but I mean, just, I think my first impression of him as a kid was just that he was an older brother to my friend and he, um, played basketball all the time. Yeah. Oh, and he had red hair. Yeah. Can't tell anymore. <laughs> but that would, I mean, that would be my first impression of you as like a kid. I don't know. Like I said, I <laughs> It Did you me... even look over at my house <laughs> before we started dating? I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was just always into playing sports and stuff, so I didn't... Okay, I mean, well, I didn't... did you have an impression of me when I came over and asked you out? I probably thought you were crazy, but... You should have known then, y'all. Yeah. So, your no first impression, really? I don't know. Well... <laughs> he probably doesn't want to say he's probably embarrassed or something embarrassed yeah you get embarrassed no I'm not even turning red next question how long have we been together <sighs> so I asked you out like to go to a football game August 2003 it's currently July 2020 so almost 17 years wow Seems like forever. So basically half of my life. <laughs> kind of crazy. So we started dating in 2003, August 2003. That was my start of my senior year of high school. And then we dated all the way through college. Um, he proposed to me that the summer before I graduated. So summer 2007. And then we were engaged for like three years, I think. Yeah, I'll take my time. Yeah, because we got married in 2010, so, yeah, because we'll have been married 10 years in... Coming up. October, yeah. Wow, we're getting old. We are. I think we'll ever make it to 50, 60, 70. We'll probably be dead by the end. Years, so, yeah. anniversary years. It's kind of like a big feat, though. Well, I mean, 60 I, more years. I don't think we're going to make it to 70 years. I think we'll be dead, long gone. Travis, yeah. question. Mm -hmm. How do you know when I'm happy? <laughs> well, that's only like a portion of the time. <laughs> Bull! I just don't always show my emotions. They're internal. I guess when you're smiling. <laughs> Which is not often. Cause you're... Shut up! That's not true. <laughs> it is true. I just have RBF. I don't sit around like this. Yeah, what? All the time. Oh, what is that? RBF. Oh, we better not say that. Rest in bitch face. Wow. See? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so how do I know when, how do I know when you're happy? I'm happy all the time. Well, this is what he does. He hops around and he does that with his feet. He claps his feet together. And he'll be like, Nicole, uh, what are we going to eat for dinner? Nicole, tomorrow we're going to kayak. And did you pack a bag? Are you excited? Are you ready to go? He acts like a kid in a candy store or like a kid on Christmas morning. He is just so excited. It's so funny. But that's how I live every day, pretty much. Well. I'm always happy. But if he's really like surprised and happy, like sometimes he's got Christmas gifts or just other things and he tears up a little bit. I do. He's an emotional guy, which is it's Shut good. Up, okay, yeah, here we go. Why do we have dogs over kids? Why do you, <laughs> I don't know. You don't? No, it just happened. I think it's a lot easier, though. Well. You don't have the responsibility as kids. and. Yeah. So, for the longest time, like, um, I wanted a kid. Because, well, I don't know if it's because everybody else had kids or because that's what we are supposed to do next or what. But, um... Then ended up we 
well, we had Carmen, but she wasn't really my dog. So, um, after she passed away, I was, and, and even before that, I kept being like, oh, she needs a puppy sister, puppy brother. Which we were planning on getting another one. But. Yeah. So then, um, when Storm came home and then McCartney came home and, uh, McCartney was my dog. She was going to be my dog. That was the plan from day one. I am. And I don't know. It was just like McCartney filled this void that I guess was there and kind of like a kid yeah i don't have like a like this internal like oh i want a kid i want a kid i want a kid i kind of like go through some what, phases i yeah. guess sometimes i do sometimes i don't yeah sometimes i will be like hey do you think we should have any kids and i usually say no no <laughs> But, but when he brings it up, I'll say no, too. So, it's... I don't know. It's just one of them things. I mean, yeah. You know, I, I, when we get old, maybe we wish we did. I don't know. Well, we still have time. We got niece, two nieces and two nephews. Maybe they can take care yeah. of us. And I always joke that once um, Zoe's old enough to drive, maybe I'll have a kid. But I still... I don't know. I don't know. Of course, we are getting kind of old. So, I do think about... Like, it's stupid, but it's like... Oh, well, when they're 20 years old, I'm going to be almost, what, uh, almost 60 years old. So, it's like, I was like, that's kind of crazy. So, I'll be dead when they're like, you know. What, kids? Or, yeah. Or, because if I'm, like, nephews. like when they oh. get to 20 years old, I'll be like 60 years old. So, oh, you know, it's like, I'm getting kind of, kind of old. Well, people live longer now these days, too. Plus, I mean, there's always possibility that we might decide we want to foster kids or adopt a kid or who knows what. I mean, I really... It's just one of the things. It's just... <laughs> I would like to see what we what our offspring looks like. And I know that's such a scientific word. But I would like to see what they would look like. But at the same time, I'm like... Or act. No. I already know how they're going to act. That's part of the reason I don't know if I want kids. Yeah. Our so. nieces look kind of like what? Yeah. Uh, Kennedy looks a lot like, like you. Zoe looks a lot like me. One of the boys looks like me. Yeah. Well, they're twins. They both well, look like you. So. Yeah, I guess. Travis, when you tell others about me, what do you say? <laughs> I'll basically turn you into a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. Tell, I tell the people what do you say. I'm everything I say. But well, I, I want to hear what you say now. The best thing ever. Well, give me an example. Pretend I'm somebody okay, else. What YouTube. would you say? You make the best YouTube videos. There's nobody out there in this in this YouTube world that can can compete with you. They can't compete with your brain. You're very creative. But okay, what if somebody was like, "Oh, hey man, what does your wife do?" She works for herself. Tell me about your wife, man. <laughs> well, first of all, people don't come on talking to me like that. <laughs> I don't, you don't talk to anybody. I don't talk a lot of people. Okay. So, so, let's say you're in a conversation with somebody and they're like, oh, what's your wife like? What does she like? Yeah. She is just great. <laughs> That's it? I don't have to say anymore. That covers the whole broad spectrum of it. You're the greatest thing in the world to me. Oh, thanks. I think he's lying. Though. No, I'm not. Shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> Well, I'll remember that when you're mad at me next time. I don't get mad. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah. For sure. No, I really do. I inflate you. Uh, whether, even even hiking, say you want to do Grandfather Mountain, it don't matter to me. But, well, it doesn't matter. But it's like, you know, you can, we'll climb any mountain together. It don't matter. Yeah. Like, so what? Well, I think that's a sign of a healthy relationship. Like, because when people ask me about you, I'm like, oh, yeah, Travis is great. Like, he makes me laugh every day. He's a good caretaker. He does anything he can for his mom. Um, when his grandmother and his aunt was alive, he would always be running them to the doctors and stuff. When my mom lived next door to us, you know, he was doing stuff for her. He started he, doing stuff for your dad. Yeah, he does Just... stuff for his nieces and nephew. Like, this guy's a saint, so, yeah. Nah. For the most part. Yeah. <laughs> For y'all, I will be. But, yeah, he's a good guy, and he makes me laugh, so. 
That's really important. I'm try. Oh. Okay, how do we decide where we go hiking? <laughs> how do we decide, Travis? No, I'm asking you. <laughs> oh! If it was I'm, up to me, we would be doing the hardest hikes ever. I time. am not physically fit to be doing all these hard hikes. You can do more. I can do, yeah, a lot of things. What I put my mind to, and I believe in myself. But at the same time, there are physical limitations. I am not physically fit enough to do some of these double black diamond hikes that you want to do. Black diamond? Oh, yes. So what? That don't phase me one bit. I'll do it. Well, you can go do it. Go do it. But does everybody want to watch me on the news if I fall off alone? Uh, well, <laughs> so this is how we decide. Travis will be like, hey, we should go do this hike, this hike, this hike, this hike. And I'm like, okay. So I just put them on my favorites on my All Trails app and say... Which one is the shortest? Hikes to do. And then, <laughs> yeah, I will look <laughs> and see like... it's hard or moderate, it is tossed out the window. No. And then we blame it on the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Can Storm handle this one? <laughs> no. Then I'll look at the mileage, and then I'll look at the elevation gain, and read reviews on it, because, you know, I don't necessarily... I'm scared of heights. So, like, going and doing this Grandfather Mountain Trail, which I've done before... Yeah, so... It, 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 way it, unprepared, and I don't want to do it again, because there are these ladders. I'm scared of heights. There's, like, these ropes. Like, it's just a little much. So... I guess I'll never get to go. But then I'll, so then I'll say, okay, which of these two do you want to do? And then he'll always say, you want the easy way out. You always want the easy way out. Yeah, then it's like, well, are we going to take the dogs? Well, and then we got to decide. Which I like taking the dogs, but when it's three of them, sometimes it gets a, cha it's a challenge. So then we decide <laughs> if Storm can handle it or Elliot or McCartney, if it's a trail we've never done before. Which McCartney can handle any trail that we Pretty much, but sometimes um, we'll, we'll decide. So usually McCartney can do any trail. Um, she probably wouldn't do the Grandfather Mountain Trails no. though because of the ladders. Um, Elliot. Elliot can do a lot more than he wants to do. But he he's do clumsy. Loops. He don't like one way trails. He's clumsy, so anything with ladders or a bunch of rocks is out. And then Storm has three inch legs, so a lot but of she that. she wouldn't do it. Yeah, so, you know, we have to be conscious of who we're taking and and all of that plus when they don't go then we have to be aware of how long we're leaving them because they can't stay in their crates all day right so yeah and if we left them out that'd be uh, that's a different yeah. story that's yeah that's a whole nother youtube video but we have thought about taking what i've thought about taking like the girls but then you leave elliot at home <laughs> like take it on one okay by with. one which we take mccartney but then we leave those two at home, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's a challenge. Yeah, for sure. Unless we get a backpack, put Storm in a backpack. That's I mean, 60 pounds. I'm not carrying. She'd fit in my blue one, though, that I just bought. With her little head sticking Do you want to carry 60 <laughs> pounds of dog? It don't matter. Usually when I load that thing up, it's like, like 30 pounds or more. Yeah. Anyway, so. Okay, I got one for you. Who complains constantly? <laughs> I complain. How about everything? No, no, no. It just happens that everything <laughs> you might end up having to complain about. Constantly? <laughs> That's not constantly. Food. No, I don't want that. Oh. That's not a complaint. It's like when I get something at a restaurant and it comes out wrong, I'm going to tell them. I'm not going to sit there and suffer through it. I paid for it. You want to go to the mountains? No. I want to go to the beach. <laughs> That's not a complaint. That's a statement. Oh, here's one. When we go, <laughs> it's like, you want to go get some food? No. Okay, well, I'll drive or you drive. It's That's like, not a complaint. Oh. That's I'm, just a... I'm not going if I have to drive. <laughs> That's I'm not a complaint. That's a fact. To order. <laughs> well, you can't order at, like, specific places. I don't like to talk to a machine. And he can't say certain words, like... For the longest time, he couldn't say both. I can say anything. I don't want to say it. I don't have can to say, say it. Can you say it now? No, but every once in a while, I can do you say bow round? Bow ring. <laughs> bow round. <laughs> but I have taken like a list of like a restaurant <laughs> said here. It's easier for you just to type this into your computer. 
like, on this thing is a list of some of these questions. Because <laughs> he has to mentally prepare. Which is not a bad thing. It's just... I don't like being put on the spot. It's but just... as far as complaining, I think we both do a fair share of it. I couldn't tell you the last time I complained. You couldn't? Mm-mm. I can. Yeah. It's so hot in here. Can you put the blinds down? I don't care if your plants need sun. <laughs> That's because I'm trying to watch TV. Most of the time I'm complaining it's about noise. Yeah. Because I just don't like a lot of loud noises. Yeah, I like the trail yesterday with the boom boxes. Um, you and Lucy, I'm about to get me into a... I'm not about to get you into nothing. Yeah, I'm about to... I don't Maybe know. the question should have been who's sassier. Oh, that's definitely you. No, that's you. Look at this purple hair. That's sassiness. You have a redheaded sass that's level. Well, that's... That doesn't even compare. Oh, yeah. This purple does not compare to redheaded sass. We get a little fiery. <laughs> a little? Yeah. We can be Shoot. a little mean. A little? He lets it bowl up, bowl up, bowl up, and then he simmers over like a pot of water, and whew, you better watch out. And then it goes away, and then I'm calm as can be. And it starts building up again. Yeah, a couple months. All right. Favorite show. What's our favorite show? No. I, want, I got my own favorite now. Oh, you got your own favorite? Yeah, I just started watching and I'm about to finish it. Oh, you're going to talk about YouTube? No. Oh. Well, my favorite TV show is The Office, always. I, I just love you it. Like, can watch it. You like old shrewd, don't you? I do. I love Dwight. I could just watch it forever and ever. It just makes me laugh. Um, and as I rewatch it, I just see new things all the time and just it cracks me up. So, I like laughing. My favorite is The Last Dance, which is on Netflix right now. It's like... Uh, Basically, uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls. It brings back a lot of memories from the 90s. Uh, yeah. Because, to me, sports and stuff is kind of like a joke now. It's all... It's, it's ridiculous. No sport is like it was in the 90s and in my years. So, you can say what you want. Players now, they can't compete on that level in the 90s and early 2000s. No. No way. It is what it is. Oh, I thought it was my onion breath. No. <laughs> Alright, Travis, what is your dream place to visit? You really want to know? Uh-huh. It's going to be a shocker. <laughs> go for it, then. Anywhere you want to go. And then he complains to me that I always pick everything. He always says that. I, he's like, you always pick everything. I should at least get to pick something here and there. Okay, well, I'm asking you to pick right now. Where's your dream place? I really visit? don't have it. You don't have a dream place to really visit? I'm pretty happy in anything I do, so. And to see you happy. Quit being a cheese ball. I am not a cheese ball. Okay, well, my dream place to visit is Paris, France. I've always wanted to go to Paris since I was little, like in elementary school. Um, I don't know why. I've just always wanted to go to Paris. I always wanted to visit the Eiffel Tower. I took French in high school and college. Can't speak a lick of it now, except for maybe bonjour. Je m'appelle Nicole. That's about it. Um, What's my name? Well, you would have to say Je m'appelle Travis. That would say my name is Travis. Oh. I don't know how to say your name is Travis. So I don't speak French. But I still want to really go to Paris. Um, and maybe one day we'll get to go there and maybe it'll be on this channel. Who knows? I get kind of nervous when... Uh... We get kind of nervous. No, you get kind of I'm nervous just not about brutal. anything. No, y'all. Me going 30 minutes down the road. He's like, Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't like you going by yourself. I just don't. I'm a strong, independent woman. I'm more than capable to handle going places by myself. I know you can do it. All right, so this is a long question, so I'm going to read it. So, why are you laughing? Well, I'm just got something to say about it. How do you balance working together as a married couple? And what advice could you give other couples who are wanting to do the same? So, first of all, um, well, it's I have It's hard. A, it's not easy to work together. I mean, we so? are. No, it's not for everybody. Well, I have my own business. I'm a Pinterest marketing strategist. So, um, I manage Pinterest accounts for female small business owners and bloggers and entrepreneurs. Um, 
So Travis works with me and helps manage some accounts for me. Uh, so basically I just taught him how to do that and yeah. And now, I pretty much do whatever I can. He'll ask me about 35,000 questions about it, which annoys me a little bit because I have no patience, but I have learned I just need to take a moment, take a breath and realize Pinterest is not everybody's strong suit. I think we work pretty well together. I think the biggest thing is knowing to communicate what is it expectation and what is required. Like plus, you got to have some downtime away from crap, which is part of the reason I have an office so I can get away from, from me. Yeah, sometimes. Mm. Um, <laughs> I love you, but I think we all need our space. I think that's part of a healthy relationship. Um, is having space and individual time for whatever you like to do. So. Um, as far as working together, I think we know that if Travis t makes a mistake or something on a client's account, we talk about it and, Try to, you, know, you know, fix it going forward. Yeah. So it's just like having any other employee because it is my business, um, not our business, but what is ours is ours, you know, but it's my face, my name, my business. So, you know, I want to make sure my clients are happy. But as far as like making these YouTube videos and working on Instagram accounts and, um, we have a podcast. We haven't recorded any new content for that in the last year, but... This is easier. This is more... I don't know. I think it's it more like fun. it's more fun. I like it better. Um, I'm a visual person anyway, so... Uh, but yeah, so I think just knowing like, hey, I have this idea for this video. You want to do this? And then he'll kind of be like, okay, Nicole, you can't worry about your plans today. We need to film. We have deadlines coming up we need two videos a week so we try to publish on mondays and thursdays um he goes through and um raw chops up all the footage so he makes little raw cuts and um puts it in order and then i'll take it from there and um then i always make him watch it piece together before we're done um and i think we just kind of work to our strengths on that so i think the biggest thing is to make make it fun yeah if, if it's boring it, it it ain't gonna work. Yeah. And I mean, there is, oftentimes it will be like, what, Friday, hey, let's, let's run to the mountains for the evening for a picnic or something. Mm -hmm. Just to cut it off for the, that day or whatever. Yeah. Because it's, it's overwhelming or whatever. Yeah. But. And we typically don't work on weekends. I mean, we, with my business, it's pretty flexible. Like, we went swimming yesterday afternoon, so. We went hiking this week, kayaking this week. Yeah. I mean, we get to do a lot of fun stuff, and I think that's the biggest piece of advice I could give anybody is you have one life to live. Make your life the best you can. The best you can be, and, and not in a YOLO sense that you only live once, you should live recklessly and do whatever you want. I don't speed your life up to that. But <laughs> you shouldn't be chained to a computer. You shouldn't be chained to a desk all the time. You should get to experience the world and do things you want to do. If you want to sit at home on your couch and eat Cheetos and watch Netflix all day, you should get to do that. Go you know, it. go do it for an hour a week. Whatever. If you want to live in a camper and travel around the U.S., go do it. Um, which, that's one, of, one thing I want to do. But, you know, we're not at that point we can go do that yet. So, um, yeah, I just think chasing your dreams and going after what you want in life is really really important so just have fun that's all i can say and i mean part of that is you got to have somebody who can support you too so i think in any relationship like we're both strong people but um he is a more of a supportive role i think especially too because he doesn't like being the center of attention or doing the talking or whatnot for us so i don't mind stepping into that role um and yeah. it kind of just happens naturally yeah, but i just want to be over behind the scene somewhere he, he's a good behind the scenes person. He's a great worker. Um, so our strengths and our weaknesses kind of play off of each other. Um, so making sure that when you are working with your spouse or partner that you are working in ways that allow your strengths to shine. Um, because Travis isn't a public speaker. No, I'm not saying I am. But I couldn't be like, hey, Travis, can you go make this YouTube video for my Pinterest channel? Exactly. Hey, I'm doing better though. 
but I could have you edit those videos for my son or says YouTube channel, which I haven't done anything within like three years. But, you know, I think that's part of marriage, part of a relationship, part of working together. You have to focus on those strengths. Um, and, and, you know, the same as you would with an employee, the same as you would in an office job. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, as somebody who is more in that stronger role, having somebody who can support behind the scenes, I think is really important too. So, yeah. Yeah, but you're pretty creative up in here. What is something you would change about yourself? That I would change about myself? <laughs> is that on the list? It is up there. Don't Where did you put them. that? Number 23. See it over there? I don't even like that question. Well, answer it. Because I'm going to answer it about myself. You want me to go first? Okay, go ahead. There's something I could change about myself right now. <laughs> would be to cut out my... I'm going to say shyness, I guess. Whatever. I don't... I really don't like being the way I am. Like... Why? I just don't... I've always been quiet. You can ask anybody I went to school with. They're like, I never talked a lot. I just, I don't. I, He's come out of his shell a lot, y'all. Being on these YouTube videos and talking is a 180. I'm just one. I'll sit there and listen all day long. It's just, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm like, I don't know. I, like, most of the stuff I say is not like important or anything like that. Like, I don't want to be, I don't know. Like, if I could change that, I would change it. I don't like being quiet. I mean, I wish oh, I could. Because it, it has downfalls and other things, like, you know. Yeah. Because I can't just. I mean, I can have conversations with anybody. It don't matter. But, I mean, I'm not. I don't talk on the phone. I. I <laughs> Who talks on the phone these days? Oh, well, yeah. But, you know. I don't know. I would definitely change that about myself. Cool. What about you? Nothing. You're just perfect all around individual. I'm not perfect, but I mean, I really have a lot of self-confidence and I love myself for who I am. And, you know, if people don't like me, they can take it or leave it. Like, that's just how I am. So, you are pretty blunt. Um, yeah. I guess. You're strong, uh, like strong head, strong will, whatever. Well, if I had to pick one thing, I'd probably pick that I would not have narcolepsy um, because it makes me excessively tired, which I'm kind of tired right I'm now. Kind so. of but I can't help that. It's uh, it don't annoy me, but it's like you know, so you know, you get annoyed because you're you're like, oh, you want to take a nap yeah. again? If you uh, if you can be a, a circus act, what would it be? If you can be in the circus, I am scared of heights, but I've all, but I've always been obsessed, and I've never actually been to the circus. So just what I've seen on You've TV. You've never so. been to the circus? No. You never went to school? No. Did you have you been in the I circus? Think, I think, yeah. Well, I like go to the circus now because I don't like that they the way they treat animals and stuff. So, so you don't go to the zoo either. That's a little bit different, but we're not going to go down politics today. Oh, say political. Well, it is kind of. Anyways, so. Um, okay, what would your perfect circus act be? My no, little, it says if you it, had a circus act, what would it be? I would be a trapeze artist. That's what I was gonna say. Cause well, I, the, we'll both be one. I'm scared of heights, but I would love to do that. I think it just looks really cool. I just look, I think I look cool up there in that little onesie suit, <laughs> doing little flips up in the air, and probably the one that falls on the mat and gets hurt. But No, you'd have to catch me. Oh. Huh? Yeah. That's what they do. Though. I didn't like, say we're going to be working together. Yeah. We, it would be our circus act. Oh. We'd be on trapeze well, miles. You'll have to stay tuned for that. We, uh, we got to set up some stuff. <laughs> Travis, what is your favorite thing that we've done together? Hmm. I think one of the favorite things is, is uh, here lately is probably uh, taking all the dogs to the beach for our anniversaries. I think that's pretty cool because we all yeah. spend our time together and they get to see stuff they don't see every day. And Yeah, that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. The last two years we've done that. Yeah. Um, Actually the same place, but... Yeah. Cool. I 
think one of my favorite things we've ever done together is hmm. I'm not sure question. <laughs> I'm gonna say camping. We haven't been in a long time, but um back like when I was in college we would go camping sometimes and I really enjoy camping. We just did car camping, but it was a lot of fun. Um at some primitive campsites. We didn't backpack in, but we did um tent camping and um, you know, it was just nice being out there relaxing and um, I just don't know if we could take the dogs. Yeah. I feel like they would stir up everybody else. We'd get kicked out probably. We'd have to test it in our backyard first. Yeah. So Oh, um, did you have a nickname growing up? No, no. People really. still call me my mine, so I didn't really have a nickname. Mine all through school was a uh, red for my hair. <laughs> but people still call me that. You Who know, does? Like somebody just, you see at grocery store or something? Just people I know. Yeah. They'll be like, hey, Red. People I went to school with, yes. What's up, Red? No. <laughs> if you don't turn and run the other way when you see them at the grocery store, though, right? That's true. If you <laughs> see me in there, you better pull me to the side. If you really want to talk to them. Otherwise, yeah, it's Because I'm not being rude. I just, I, I just have, I'm on a mission, so... If it's Walmart or wherever, I'm going to get my stuff and I'm leaving. But it also goes back to that thing that you just don't like to talk. Well, I don't like to talk. Yeah. I'm talking more in this little video than I'm probably talking every day. Yeah. What? Do we agree on everything or disagree or what do, what do we do? <laughs> and we don't have to get into politics and all that junk because we don't ever agree on that. Well, we don't agree on a lot of things. We pretty so much don't agree on anything. We. We just agree to disagree. If we try to talk about it and debate it. We try to keep it very civil, but oh, most yeah. of the time we just decide that it's easier to not talk about it. But wait, I still try to talk about it. And I just ignore it. So them. usually I say either I get ignored or stomp off. Like <laughs> That's not true. I don't stomp off when you're talking about politics. I stomp off too. I'm strong. I mean. <laughs> we just won't get into it. I, I've just got, I'm very opinionated on stuff. Well, and, that's and good. I mean, right or wrong. But at the end of the day, we, uh, we're fine. We're still sitting side by side. And yeah. <laughs> even if we make each other mad. We but, I mean, other things, like if we were like, hey, um, like making a decision, well, we I would can, discuss it. Yeah. We never agree on the same trail, obviously. Well, eventually we have to agree or otherwise we wouldn't show up at the same location. Hey, that's possible. Might have to start dropping one of us off and going somewhere else. Oh my gosh. What do you <laughs> like about this? <laughs> that? I love that you make me laugh. Um, and you're always so silly, but also very caring and um, supportive. But mostly that you make me laugh and that you drive me in a lot. <laughs> what do you like about me? I really do like that you're, uh, you're just, like strong-willed or whatever, strong-headed. Well, to get to, you already know what point A is you want to be at. It don't matter if it's, well, she wants to have like five-year plans, ten-year plans. Heck, I ain't thought about past next week. Well, I've kind of given up on these big but, plans because they don't work out. <laughs> Although I still want to live in a camper and travel the U.S. Like, that's a big plan. I just don't have a timeline for it now. But, I mean, you usually, if you want to, whatever the point is, you're, you're going to get there. One way or another, you're going to make it there. And it's not going to be a curvy one. It's going to be usually pretty straight, and you're going to be right there. Well, I'm glad it looks straight, because usually it's like, no. entrepreneurship is the same way. It's like, you know. But you, are, you know what? You're, you're going to go at it, and you're going to accomplish that goal. <laughs> so, well, I like that. And let me look at this purple hair. Who in their right mind would... Uh, but, uh, you wish you had purple hair like this. It does look pretty good on me, wouldn't it? All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us and uh, finding out all the answers to these questions. I hope you learned something about us as we have learned a little bit about each other, even though we've been together for such a long time. I um, learned something new. <laughs> yeah. So... Leave us a comment and let us know what you learned or if you want to answer any of the questions that we've went through today. We would love to learn more about 
you as well. Yeah, so ask us questions. Tell us where to go. Yeah, and now, Travis, what should our watchers do? You should subscribe. And? I guess, what was that? Ring the bell? Ring the bell. Ring, ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> so, we will see y'all soon, and we hope you... Yeah, I don't know. Enjoy life. Yeah. So, we will see y'all on the next adventure. Bye, y'all.